you doing? Let's hang out. We're for back. A bit. Okay. <clears throat> so, back at it again with Battle Network 5. Uh, previously, uh, we went into an abandoned coal mine. <laughs> as one does as a kid. You know, I, I say that, like, as a joke, but, like, I remember as a kid, like, going and swimming in, like, a quarry, an abandoned quarry and such, you know? Like, oh, oh. you know, like, that's, that, that was just, like, the thing. I'm glad you're all right, dude. I'm glad you're here with me. <laughs> I, I was about to make a joke about, like, hey, let's go swimming in the water. It's nice and blue. I'm just like, oh. Well, that one wasn't, like, a blue. That one was, like, a... a that was not a blue quarry lake. Like, a, it was just, like... It was a lake on a dugout quarry. <laughs> Okay, it had not had it had yes. not had time to leach out the uh, minerals inside yeah. and become forbidden Gatorade. There's one of those in town. If you go on on like the west side of town, there's like the the spot like kind of over by the hills where it's like, look, just don't, you just don't want to. Anyway, so cool. the, the kids love it. They they, they love to hang out in the, the coal mines. Uh, anyway, children we, love the Baja Blast. <laughs> not that one. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, we came to the mines uh, to have a good time. Uh, we did have a good time out at the beach and such. Uh, you know, cooked some fish, uh, found a giant fish we didn't catch. Uh, ah, Dusty Town, thanks for the sub. Yes, the children have their full fill of the mines. We did not get our net sex fucked up with some powerful oh magnets. God. That's the difference. That, that's, that's the other version. That's the version difference. <laughs> 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 so, instead we met a, a old friend? If, if someone tries to kill you in a game like this and then you beat them, they become your friend, right? I'm going to say that that's, yeah, that's basically true. Works. Yeah, so we met an old friend, Princess Pride, who uh, has a... a different look now but still has nightman uh that is here like doing some specific like work looking for like magnetic ore that's down here so i will say here costume trope is something that i've actually seen in other animes regarding like princesses who just want to go on the down low oh okay yeah as we, we as we saw in like the the gallery stuff. She was the one who had the, like, Tron Bond style uh, more, like, in her, in one of her, like, initial stylings. Um, I did, uh, we, we do have some new stuff to work with, some pulsars, some drill arms. Oh, right, we also uh, did of our first liberation mission, and that was really cool. Yes, we got Blizzard Man from that, fighting our good buddy Blizzard Man. Uh, and we're setting up uh, for uh, the next liberation mission, basically. Uh, okay, Drill Arm and Pulsar are both on ones we don't have. Um, all, right, all these are ones like we don't have a, a lot of like support for, but that's okay. Like, we're just not going to be... A, we're, we're, for a little while, we're going to be on multiple different, you know, codes. That's just the way of things. Multiple different codes and Gundal Soul. Yep. And one more Cacti Ball. And Gundal Soul. It is, for what it's worth, uh, like, like we mentioned in the Liberation Missions, we now are uh, pressured to actually come up with, like, uh, more dedicated folders for different things, because... Uh, Liberation missions are focused on speed, so we definitely need to make sure that there is a, a lot more uh, code synergy. All right. Anyway, we saved our our, our friends from uh, the hole they fell in, uh, and now we are heading back to. Yes, here we are. Because we we basically uh, read uh, pride in on like, hey. Uh, we got this shit going on on the net. We could use your help. Um, yeah, so she's going to have her big, huge Navi just sort of, like, yep. block all the bullets for yep. us while we get in there. 
you might, if you're jumping in at this stage, wonder why we haven't read in our, our friends. Uh, we're supposed to keep this secret, and they don't have navies to help with. Yeah, they got their navi stolen by uh, Lysandroth. Yep. So... Shing. Let's head on in. So Oran area is... Yeah, okay. So we gotta go head up there. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Regal, like, actually taking actions and doing shit. <laughs> well, it took him one whole game, but he managed to get his act together. I did a slight amount of fighting off screen to get us some sets of those chips that I uh, that I showed earlier because we basically didn't get any <laughs> from our original run through <laughs> like specifically the the um the pulsars and the drill arms I didn't even get a full set of drill arms goddamn but yeah let's add these pulsars in and just give them a, a roll to see how they play I know we have a lot of chips on a lot of different codes, but like, I want to, I want to, we can't know which of these we want to focus on unless we know how they all work, so. Yeah, when he jumped off the, uh, when he jumped off that building at the end of four, he just ended up bunk bunking his head on something and his chakras aligned. <laughs> okay. So our folder right now is like, experimental. We've got some ideas we want to see how they play, because that'll give us ideas on what we want to focus on. If, like, Pulsar plays really well, then, like, T as a code is something we want to look into. Um, like, the punchy codes are already really good, because, like, they're basically a uh, built to be puff. They're built to be played around the uh, counter system. <laughs> Yeah, like the the the, the cacti balls also work really nicely with the, the 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 counter. Oh, that's really fast! Dang, that was like instant. <laughs> All right, and this this leads us back to ACDC three. That's a fun little. That, that's a very fast bit, and we we saw from a. Uh, ooh, there's a, a locked one below us right there. So one of the things we saw from using this um this chip is that if it hits an object, it does like an area of an effect of effect blast. So that's something we'll want to keep in mind. plan. <laughs> <laughs> My defenses are impregnable. Okay, did Colonel uh, and, and Barrel, you know, very well researched on folks. That's good. Yeah, they kept tabs on everybody. <laughs> Seems like a, a a pair who would be well researched, and they're the only person who knew that we had saved the world four times, right? Like, <laughs> all right.
and then, yeah, he has wide sword, so he just goes. Shing. The other big one is Magnet. See, well, it makes sense with Magnet Man, because in my mind, that would be like Magnet Man doing a, a Neo. Like, you just hold the bullets, right? Yeah. Because you have magnets. You Magneto it, right? Like... <laughs> Ooh, this will be fun. I wonder how Nightman plays. Oh, yeah, he just gets to join us during this. Like, like is Nightman like really slow to move on the on the screen? Like, I wonder, you know. Anyway, let's ride. Liberation mission. Yeah, I thought it was specifically like we're going to be uh, gradually getting back everyone's navvies and they would join us. I didn't realize this was like we're getting other people's navvies to help out. It might be both. Who knows if it's like this and then maybe we get Gutsman and Roll and Glide back. God, do you think Glide will be playable? No. <laughs> That's a pretty fair bet. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think I would take against on that. All right, we have the the, the Reploid, the, the Dark Reploid. That guy. Excuse? <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Come on. Do we? <coughs> okay. My dude, we are going to well, kill uh, this man. Well, fortunately, we don't have a boss fight in store for us, so that's one thing. No, we are going to that's absolutely one... murder this man. It has been a full game, and we haven't gotten the boss fight for this asshole. <laughs> Oh, wait. Slyo, oh. come on. You know how this guy works. The dark power. Are we going to introduce dark chips here, then? Dr. Science, thank you very much for the sub. Yeah, okay, uh huh Black has built a silly dice maze. Go! <laughs> Let's have attack from any direction during the dark look phase. Okay. Oh, right. We... Nine turns is our... Okay. Have we got three? Oh, yeah, yeah. Nightman has huge defense. Let's turn on uh, the map. Dark bird. Firing dog, nothing over here, nothing over here. A goodie. A goodie. So you might look at this and think, my goodness, this is a lot longer than the last one. One thing to keep in mind, we have three navvies now. So instead of two actions on a round, we get three actions on a round. Yeah. So... Last one was par was like par seven, and we had two characters, so fourteen actions. This one's par nine, with three, which means that it's twenty-seven. So like the size increase makes sense. So yeah, we're gonna have to kind of figure out how we want to go about movement on this one. Um. Yeah, so we have to get up here, around, and then Shade Man is over here at 600 HP. I agree that we're probably actually going to get to have a fucking fight with Shade Man right. at the same time. It would be so funny. He just, just leaves. Just, like, we get to do a fight. Out again. Nah. Uh. <laughs> we got a fight where we beat him I'm up with a I'm just so tired soul. of this asshole stringing us along. I have done that fake fight against him like six times. It's so... Okay, so... First things first. Um, yeah, I really appreciate them actually pushing for like a specific type of build, but at the same time, there is a reason to build uh, folders for other situations because it's not just liberation missions all the way down. Yeah. So, um... 
How do we want to start this? Uh, so what's Nightman's uh, is Night clears? Nightman doesn't have a clear move. Nightman must have a defensive like ability for us. Ah, uh, gotcha. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Cap Fornal. You didn't see it in your playthrough. There's a full boss fight against Shade Man in Battle put for or his post game. Um, it's the second worst fight in the whole series. Oh, that. Hmm. <laughs> okay then. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have... Oh, also thank you for the hype train. Where have Nightman started off? Liberate this. Then we're going to wide sword the next one. Alright, so how Nightman play Oh my god, we're huge. Oh, he's so big. Night Crusher. Night Crusher is, for what it's worth, one of my favorite weapons in Mega Man 6, because it's like, what if Metal Blade was a boomerang? Mm. So, screen divide. Getting to play as other navvies is one of the biggest wishes in the series is seeing it start in this game. Dream come true. Yeah, it's very, very cool to be able to, like, like, being able to do the style thing is, like, nifty, but actually being able to be like, nah, I'm playing as, like, Nightman and Colonel here. It's like, yeah, all right. We're going to screen divide here. It also makes sense here that, like, uh, Nightman would not have any screen clears because it means that Nightman is going to be taking point, and he kind of wants to take point because he's the big beefy boy. Damn it. I tried to get that with the... Uh... with the cannon, but the bomb moved in the way and had a slow start up. I That's... applaud the effort. <laughs> now we get the goodie. Oh, sweet. It's, it's command points. We get some, yeah, some orders. And now we can sneak around there. Yeah, that's the idea, is we can sneak this way. I got a long sword through this line. Or, alright, actually, let's take a look. It might be better to long sword this line, so we can get to the yeah, goodie. Yeah, long sword that line, get the happening panel, and then, like, uh, get over here. Yeah. We're supposed to be, like, killing the holes, right? Yeah. Alright, so we'll longsword this. Triple bad. Because there's, a uh, one... There's one uh, purple square in our way, but Nightmare should clear that on this one. Dead. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like busting the holes. Yep. Is yep. A requisite for fighting Shade Man. And oh, we get a chip. Sure, high cannon. That's that's good. All right, Shade Man turn. <laughs> Ow. Damn. Okay. I'm guessing I want to have Nightman as far front as possible to be able to, like, block in some way for those hits. Yeah, take aggro there. All right, first things first, though. But at the same time, like, uh, making him... Um... 
be the uh, wedge for like okay you okay 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 yeah does long sword hit the dark lawyer need to no we need to Screen divide doesn't. You could take that one screen and then, like, uh, you could have Mega Man or Colonel grab the, uh, the Dark Void. Yeah, and, uh, like, the fact that we're on a full surround isn't gonna matter when we have, like, a invincibility, right? Like, that's just not gonna matter. Mm -hmm. That's why I was saying that Nightman is your wedge, because, like, the fact that he just does a one screen means that he's just, like, Okay, I can hold my, uh, I can hold my special clears in reserve and just, like, have him poke a hole in their defenses. Yeah. I think we're not going to be using any, so we can either clear this side and go, we're not going there. Um, we can either clear, like, like, I could night sword, or, yeah, sorry, not night sword, I, I, I could screen divide here, get to the black hole. Yeah take that and then like, try to move forward um I personally i do think that's the play because like um you could just uh nightman like uh have nightman poke the uh panel to the right of the dark void then you're in position to screen divide for the hole i don't think you can screen divide that... or long sword hole i think you need to touch it oh well, yeah but even then Mega Man would be in position to uh long sword the last two panels uh blocking the way just like i screen divide here then i get to the dark hole i think this is right yeah you could actually yeah you could do that actually yeah it, it granted it is a little bit hard for uh me to try and yeah coordinate with you because right. i can't like the physically point at the screen and be like it's that takes this yeah so that Mega Man can long sword the uh, other two panels blocking the way forward okay. oh no Mets what the fuck is happening that bird is trouble. That bird has your credit card. Does Nightman have a little gun on his chest? A little bit. Oh god, I got there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank god for the back. Oh god, I got that with the back of the. 
That's why the Belmonts have that yeah. have that hitbox on the back. I was. I, That's kind of the point of the whip. Oh God, that man took some damage on that. Okay. All right. Um. I we don't even have to use order points. We can just like grab the goodie and go. Yeah, we just grab the goodie and move forward. Um. So we have second area, which has two black holes, and then the 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 the, the end here. The issue I here don't... is st sticking alive. I I'm I actually want to like invest in like there. I think like a recover eighty star was something I had the ability to purchase at some point, and it's like. Like that could be quite useful at this stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't worry, we'll we'll, we'll get through uh, and find out who our future friends and navvies and enemies are. Okay. Well, that helps. Yeah, so Nightman's the one who. All right. Okay. So yeah, Nightman if has Nightman a, is nearby, he will take it. Nightman has a cover. Oh my god, we're getting chased by birds. So we probably want Nightman to be like second acting then? So that Nightman's like center stage like we are now. Sounds right. Yeah, Nightman so, has uh, cover. Um you want long sword for this or uh, Yeah, we want long sword for this and then We also could go grab the goodie over here for one. Maybe that's the move. Maybe we go like one. Like long sword here. Um. Go for the second one. I, I do appreciate the bits. We'll uh, for this uh, Proto Man's Magnet Man ability. Okay. Oh, okay. So Magnet Man like has to spend a point to do a full block for everyone, regardless of range. Interesting. Whereas Nightman only has to worry about position. Yeah. I'm gonna have Colonel. Colonel, go take this out. This is a goodie. We might as well grab it. I want to have Nightman grab it, actually, in case it's a heart. Yeah. Turn one, which doesn't mean anything there, but it's nice. Um, we're not going to grab the goodie on this round. We'll grab it on the next round because it seems to have, like, you know, the one turn invulnerable, things like that. So we want to, like, start of round it. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I super, super want to know, like, because we're not going to be playing through Proto Man. So, like, learning about the counterparts. Uh, does Proto Man have, like, Wide Sword? Is that the same for Proto Man versus Colonel? Or does, like, Proto Man have, like, a different... Use. Use. Okay, Proto Man also has Wide Sword. Okay, so I think speaking of... So we want to... Hmm. Um, do want to specify, like... Um, we'd love to hear about, like, the version differences, but only in the context of things as they come up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really excited to hear about those things, but as we, as we get to them, so. Yep. Okay, he's got the, okay, he doesn't have the V-sword. Now, the question I have here is if we want to spend the points 
probably worth it. Because the alternate would be like, I do this and then I have um, Nightman go take that top tile. Because I might want to save the points because I only have two, and I'm going to want to use them to get in this area, you know? Right. Like, long sword here, screen divide here, and then I'm in the zone, you know? So yeah. I think I think I need to save the points. We're going to try to liberate this. Hopefully we can do a one turn. We'll see. Honestly, I'm only worried about speed because, like, I don't know how long Shade Man's going to take. God, yeah. He's a bastard in any context. Oh, I have super armor. You sure do. Well, yeah, I, I didn't get stunned on... Of course, it's Nightman. Why would Nightman not have super armor? Nightman's so cool. Okay, um... We're gonna go for this. Yeah. Hopefully we can one turn, but... I I, like, we, we changed up our... our our setup to be a lot, like, less good for this, like, multi-clear, right as we, we, we went in. especially sucks about the uh, bats is that it's like you have to wait on them. Yeah, they, they, all right. Who's getting hit here? That's fine. We're not in range. Oh! <laughs> we don't care about that one. That bird doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. So, first things first. Hello. Okay, sweet. He needed it. That's exactly what I want. Back to full. Nightman is ready to block. Uh, let's get everybody in position, then. So, um... I think, as I mentioned, we want to... push in here and try to destroy one of these dark holes on one. Uh, yeah, because, like, you can take that and then, like, uh, screen divide to make a straight shot to both of those holes. Yep. And then we just have to kind of clear to get up here. And we have a lot of time left on that. We'll probably have, like, three full phases for, for Shade Man. Right, right. So. Yeah, there's, like, a little Mr. Prog that we saw that lets us redo missions, and, like, obviously, like, being able to redo them with, like, different setups is is a thing that, like... Look, we're walking in here with, like, the beginning of the game chips, because it's the beginning of the game Liberation Mission. We're not gonna be able to, like, S-rank it perfectly. So. That's okay, because if you feel like it, you know, just, just uh, come back and do it later. Alright, so let's, let's crush on in. Damn. 
I'm not fast enough. Uh... Like, that's fine. Again, like, we, we just, like, the resources that we have aren't conducive to being able to one turn at this time, which is fine. That's why we have the, the, the like, screen divides. Yeah, also, we're not planning around one turning yep. most of the time. It's just going to be... If, it, if a one turn happens, it's nice. Okay, um... I think the other thing, too, is that, like, uh, when you are um, running other Navis, you are just, like... You feel that need to, like, uh, play, build around... Build your folders around them, specifically. Damn it! Ah! Ah. I was I was literally off on that by like or, by letting go of the button on the charge. Oh well. All right. So then I think we want Nightman to go take this one down here. Liberation. All right, Big Hawk. They got that counter hit. These birds are horseshit. I do like that uh, Nightman has a little chest gun to like, <laughs> suppress and fire, but like his big move is the big crush. Yeah. Okay, that was the bird down there. All right. Darkoid phase. Yeah, we used Nightman's attack to be able to do a behind hit. That was how we won that last one, which was really necessary. The beast breath. Okay, we can't block the... Like, it, it has a, um... Castlevania back hit. Uh, is what I mean by that. Um... I do like that a Nightman's positioning uh, means that, like, he's just immune to field damage. I'm gonna take Colonel in on this one. I am wondering, honestly, if uh, there is any limit to where you can take... Um, other Navis on different maps. Because, like, after a point, the game could just be like, uh, okay, we're going to let you, like, decide which Navi to bring with you to this liberation. Right, if it's like three is our max, sick. something like that. Yeah. Three is our max, but you can pick which ones you want and just like, oh, sick. Also, I would just assume that again, it's God like... <laughs> drill. Yeah. Based on... No. Alright, so we got that. We got our little buddy out. Nothing will save the Dark Lloyd's... Alright, so we're, cl we're clear to move in. Um... I guess I'm gonna oh, have... Oh, we don't have any order points, so we can't just, like, screen dev and get the goodie. No. We could one turn to get it, but I wouldn't count on it, considering the bats and the birds are uh, waiting enemies. <laughs> get out of here. Well, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you can. <laughs> All right. Liberation. 600 health on Shade, man. I'm sorry, every time I'm thinking about, like, liberation, I'm thinking about, like, fucking, uh... Blackbeard in one piece, just like uh, using his black hole powers, just like liberation. <laughs> I'm thinking about uh, ogre battle. 
Ogre Battle's not a series that I grew up with, so I'll take your word for it. Yeah. Ogre Battle on the, the you know, with the liberation. Oh, God damn it. Okay, I need something that can hit you. You know what? This can hit you. Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> this this will hit you. Okay, dark void phase. Somebody gets attacked, and we don't have defenses up because of just the positioning. Or you can just choose wrong. Okay. So phase six. Um. Okay, so we got four phases to. Uh... Yeah, so we have like a goodie point down there. We have a goodie point over here we probably want to grab. Right? Like. Because it's right here. I, mean, I, I feel like making a break for Shade Man is a good play. Oh! Hold on. Oh! Never mind. We can just like. Yeah, just like grab the happening panel, hope that we get something good, and then just like make a break for Shade Man. Alright, happening panel, what's up? Invol oh, yeah, we're making a break for Shade uh, Man. Yeah, we're making a break for Shade Man if we got Involm. Yeah, we, we have Involm. Uh, let's... We'll let Mega Man go first here. Actually, hmm. Nightman is most likely to be able to one turn clear this. I'm going to go with Nightman. I do also notice that so far they've been spreading out the Liberation missions, so they're not like, uh, you don't get too much of it, because it's just like, uh, you've gotten one Liberation mission first to start off with, and then you do, like, a normal dungeon, and now you're back here. Gotcha. Okay. Good pacing so far. I was happy that we had a real dungeon that was, like, both sides to Lan and, and Mega Man. All right. Uh, yeah, let's just bust in. The party of darkness. You've ri I'll get you this time. damage. Damn. Time out. Okay. Okay. That's Not fine. Too bad. That was almost half. Alright. Colonel. One thing is that, like, our placement means we're in, like, a really awkward, um... Start. Don't even have to dodge, right? Unless... I oh, Nightman doesn't have to dodge because he has super armor. Everyone else could potentially... Use. Yes. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, like that. Get off my side. Oh my God, I'm gonna hit you with a roll. If I can hit two swords, we can clean.
Damn it. I was too slow on pulling that out. All right, so we're gonna get some healing. Yeah, 450, that's fine. Easy enough for us to clean. And then nobody takes the hit. Yeah, three characters will shave that down like easily. I mean, this does fucking suck for Nightman, considering there's <laughs> barely any room to move. Yeah, but Nightman's got this. Like, Nightman's, <laughs> Nightman's got moves anyway. I <laughs> love Nightman, he's so good. <laughs> Damn it. What the hell are you doing there? <laughs> what the hell are you doing, you yeah. motherfucker? All right. That's fine. Colonel, it's all you. All right. Yeah, we saw Blizzard Man heal, I think, 300. One sixty on two characters, easy, free. Damn it! I thought he appeared right in front of me. Okay. Damn it! in too quick. Punch. Punch. <laughs> Alright. We actually got to fight and kill Shade Man. We actually got to fight and kill Shade Man. Yeah, the, the echo move that Shade Man used was a little bit like, had a longer lasting hitbox than I expected. But we worked it. We worked around it. Ah! Alright! That was a seven turn? <laughs> yeah, we crushed this one. This guy was in four, wasn't he? He was in four all the freaking time. Like, the whole the whole conceit was that, like, we never got to actually fight him properly. We, we got, like, a ton of fights against him that were all fake. Very yes. annoying. And then we revived him with, a. Uh, uh, Gun to Soul, uh, the, uh, uh, Django, and anyway, Shade he Man. He was apparently, ooh, it was apparently an actual fight in the post so, game, but we did not give a shit at that point. So we might want to rerun this, um, for Shade Man ship. Yeah, F because of also um, because Shade Man is S, yes. which is a very good code, and we did get the SP, and we do have like a clear shot at just, like, doing that repeatedly. Yeah. Cool. Another time, perhaps. But yeah, that went pretty clean. We we even spent two full rounds on uh, Shade Man. We had a lot of extra time. We could have gotten some more goodies on the side, but getting the Shade Man SP chip is worth it. We've defeated Shade Man, but the battle continues. Oh, God. The soul still burns. v -Priz. Oh. So Shade Man's here. Uh -huh. Our, there's only one other Neb Villa Navi. From four. Sir, Lasers <laughs> will not be appearing in this. Look, <laughs> <laughs> like, when Regal fell off that uh that tower, when he jumped off that tower, a laser man went to the bottom of the goddamn sea. <laughs> future will no longer be controlled with lasers. Okay. So, Nightman is with us here, but... Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. This is 
is for the good of the internet. <laughs> Gee. Hell yeah. Ah, also. Yes, 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 yes. This is also a much better way to get, like, the soul, like, a. Uh, so, a lot of the, like, soul residents, uh, union, uh, unison things we got before were just like, I, I feel you. I feel your feelings. Very much of, like, that in, like, the tournament. And it's art supposed stuff. to be, like, y'all are fighting and you're fighting so good that you're parts are like resonating yeah. which doesn't really come across as well also everybody was really annoyed at the whole tournament but, uh, but thing anyway, but no but we're, like we're, this, we're fighting we're fighting side by better. side you know like yeah we're Lightman. fighting side by side the alignment makes so much more sense yeah all right Sweet. also nightman's soul is probably going to be fucking busted as all hell you know, do, i want does i want night like if night soul gives me super armor and nothing else i would be yo like, just, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so when I say super armor, Nightman, one of the things we saw uh, that he's able to do in fights is unless a move actually stuns him, like uh, so the um, the echo attack that um, Shademan had actually had like a paralysis on it that'll stun you, but like if you take a hit as Mega Man, usually you'll get knocked out of like whatever chip animation you're in. Like if I try to use a cannon and then I get hit, I lose the cannon. Nightman just takes the hit and keeps moving. So, also, yeah, you're right. Like, Lan is the one operating both Nightman and uh, Mega Man in this yes. situation, too. Uh, Blue Moon, you Soul got Junk Soul and... after Junk Man explicitly tries to kill you and straight up dies going, screw you, asshole, how dare you try to help me. <laughs> All right, well, now we yes. have a new internet area. Oh, weird. You're telling me that 5 follows up on an idea that might have been good in 4 and actually makes it good? I'm, I'm sad we didn't get to do Junkman. Uh, the idea of Junkman in 4 seems really cool. He seems like one of the most unique navvies that's ever existed. It'd just probably be like Cheat Man because he's literally garbage data. No, no, no. He's like... He's made up of of garbage. He's he's a. I'll have to pull up the 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 junk. Man oh stuff. right, right, right. I think we like yeah, yeah we looked I think at we his. Briefly thought, and my mind was just kind of like yeah. gone at that point. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I think you mentioned that because we pulled it up in the gallery. Junk Man is yeah an amalgamation of Navi data. Yeah, because like, like it, random crap. Yeah, like we we can pull him up in the gallery. He just he also looks way different than just like humanoid. You know, mm -hmm. like anyway. <laughs> hey, sorry about the drill thing. I didn't mean it. This time. <laughs> we did go exploring. We probably shouldn't have gone in that We probably coal mine. shouldn't have been in the coal mine. <laughs> <laughs> Look, so. man, I get it. Like, your Navis are gone. You don't have your phones. You're going to start thinking to, about doing some wild shit. Yeah, we probably should. Look, maybe 11-year-old kids don't belong in the mines. My favorite part about the conceit of Five is that, like, it is the exact opposite of kids be on their damn phones. <laughs> kids need to be on their damn phones. <laughs> well, Otherwise, they they'll go but they wander into the coal mine. The yeah, like, they need the phones, otherwise they get wander in the coal mines and nearly get killed. Yeah. Kids should be on their damn phones. Later, Pride. Back at uh, Regal HQ, Nebula HQ. <laughs> Why are you telling this to my dad? 
He, look, much as Wiley would, Wiley also needs somebody to, like, you know, monologue Play at. Off of. The, you know. I mean, like, I feel like Wiley should be kidnapping Dr. Light a lot more often if that were the case. Well, again, it, well, it makes sense here if it, with, with Dr. Regal in a, like, Dr. Regal, Wiley's son kidnapping Dr. Light's son, right? Like, Yeah, uh, yeah, in this in this case it does, it does, like, what, yeah. oh, what, oh, we got our research. Hmm. Hmm. All right. How many how many internet destroying devices does Dad have? Because <laughs> like <laughs> in the first game we have like the 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 tetra codes the elemental codes, uh, which one of them is just in our house in in our oven so it's secure. Um, in the third game, Scilab has the alpha alpha code. alpha code. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what was Gospel going after? Gospels was going after, like, uh, what? The, uh, the weird code that made the internet fuse with reality and, like, make everybody radiation sick. Yeah. Hmm. After all, it has been a while. Ooh, okay. Cloud Man. Hey, dude. <laughs> That's a... Uh... Uh, yeah, hey, buddy. <laughs> Cloud Man. Uh... Alright. Yeah, Modoc is exactly what I'm thinking looking at this dude. Yeah, Modoc looking ass. <laughs> like, look at this. He's just. Hi, like, dude. Okay. Machine organism designed only for jobbing. <laughs> okay, and, and like. We know. He, obviously, he knows Mega Man has to be involved in this. Uh. Weird, I kidnapped his dad. Why, who else would be after me? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Big old ice cream. I can't believe we got to kill Shade Man. For real. Also, everybody gets to have ice cream because, like, Yai's rich. Alright. Thanks, Yai. Best Tuesday chipper. Hey, it fucking sucks that he can't, <laughs> like, reassure them that, <laughs> like, they got something going on. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Hello, my dude. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately. Are you a like? Who are you? Are you? Are you, are you <laughs> just. And someone approaches Lan, and he's like, "Ah, fuck! Like this is clearly a like a like a nebula operator." Odd. I enjoy that, like, whoever this is, they know all they need to do is, like, slightly... Just keep calling Lana Wiener. And yeah. <laughs> like, I'll show you the wieners. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'll jack into your squirrel if that's what it takes. 
check into the squirrel. Find my navvy in the deep reaches of squirrel comp. Are you sure? Hehehe, <laughs> squirrel comp. Okay. Someone on the road approaches us and just says, yo, we should fight. Like, this dude looks like he walked in out of, a, like, a, a dojo. Alright. Now, I think this rules. Hey, this is also really funny because, like, he's just like, Alright, I'll show you who's the wimp. I'm gonna jack into the score right now. And then it's just, like, five minutes of Lan grumbling okay. intensely and, like, giving him, like, mean glares. Okay, Barrel's sending us... Uh, Dr. Hikari's files about soul resonance, which we know. Um, I yep. feel like Beryl's the one who should be, uh, having the mug shot then. Well, no, no, no. Mega Man is reading the email aloud. Oh, okay, okay. Double soul. And of course, we will we'll get the tutorial on it because. Still a reasonably new system. Oh, hey, Barrel. <laughs> Night Soul. <laughs> Nightman's a Debbie that can destroy all with a one swing. Okay, so. Break based. Break based. So, hockey. <laughs> I'm, glad that, uh, I'm glad that this confirms hockey is still in this one. I like the hockey ones. So, sacrifice to double soul. Yep, same thing. So, unite. Night soul has 2x attack on... I'm sorry, just gets double damage? Double damage when you use break base chips, or double damage when you just have them in your hand? Well, when you when you charge. Oh, them. you can charge chips. Okay. okay. Oh, and we do get, and we get the wrecking ball. Okay, so we don't get double damage flat. Oh, we don't get like the plus damage flat like we did before, but we get double damage on a charge. And also, we're invincible water charging. Yo. Oh, this looks cool. <laughs> anyway, goodbye. Uh, okay, same rule. You can't, like, set a trip if there's a regular chip and then sacrifice it. That's too easy. You can only unite once with the same soul in a battle, three turns. Cool, same as before. So there's change. So there's changes on the passives, but not on the main rules. Anyway, Squirrel Cop one. And let's go pull up that email so we have all the sync on break base. Okay, so yeah, we get invincibility when we use it. So we only have this in the front row. That's how that works. Yeah, that makes sense. It's most like, yeah, like, because he's a knight. He doesn't retreat. Yeah. <laughs> and then our power attack is the wrecking ball that kicked ass. And then power attack from a ch break chip to double damage. <laughs> wow, soul lasts the number of turns of a liberation battle? Yeah. <laughs> That's so crazy. All right, uh... One moment, I'm gonna step away for just a second before we do squirrel yeah. here, so.
All right, I'm back. Squirrel comp. Yep. So we saw air hockey as a chip in the previous uh, game. And air hockey was like really powerful if you could get it to like two columns and just bouncing it back and forth because it would hit like a bunch of times on a chip that pierces, which made it really good. Okay, it's a mega chip. All right. That's actually way better. I. Because you don't have to grind for it. Yeah. Well, we, we could go get more of these. Like, um. You go get the normal kind. Um, okay. Uh, we'll keep our deck like this for now. Actually, hold on. What element is, uh, Shade Man's? Oh, neutral. Oh. Drill arm, by the way, is Pierce. Mm. So. So let's go. I guess it's a good thing that you um, tried to stock up on them. Yeah, I, might, I only have three. I'll have to go grab. I, I do plan on doing some off screen, just sort of like chip collecting in this one. Not a ton of it, like, just a little bit. Just to smooth things out a bit. I would say you are motivated at this point. <laughs> I like to copy damages. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take the Pulsar's total out. Those are, like, Mostly fine, because but... I think it would be really fun to, like, uh, try and figure out some proper builds here. Yeah, get some, like, like Quake. I don't have, I don't have enough of yet. Um... Quake is a thing that could be sacrificed pretty easily, I think, just because it's slow. Okay, and then... I would love to get, um, Cactaball double damage. Right, if I- if I use a charged Quake, that's 200 damage. So, like, say I'm fighting someone like Nightman who doesn't move. Like, that would be huge. Okay, I added in some more S's. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep with this for now. Yeah, if we, if we find someone who doesn't move, that'd be the best. Yo, we got some foes here. I don't think we've seen Trumpy. I mean, Trumpy's our old friend. <laughs> Still got that sound. I love it. Wait for it. <laughs> Dumbass. Yo. Wait a minute. So fire hits on Q for us. That was fire hit on P, which is the same as the quake. That would actually be a huge upgrade. If we could swap these over. Also, uh, the existence of, like, two of these on two, um, s like, of the same, like, like, uh, back-to-back -back letters, we might be able to get, like, PQR and have an advance. Champy. Oh, because it's Champy EX. Yeah, that was Champy so EX we fought. <laughs> Makes sense. EX have, okay. I don't want to go in that yet. I don't want to check the area. Oh, no, you jerk. Ah, it's... okay. No. <laughs> yeah, there's two, you know... Oh, we are punching. I... you know... May have flubbed those punches a little bit.
Oh, I, I killed it with the 10 damage. Let's unite. I didn't even think about uh, Cloud Man being a thing specifically because, like, we already had Thunder Man. <laughs> Thunder Man is kind of like a weird Cloud Man adjacent. Cloud yeah. Man Summer Halt. Okay, no goodie in this room. We just get to choose. All right, left hand rule. That's 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 my my move. Okay, so we can get more drills from here, which is nice too. Like. I love, I love the little no. Same. Love the implication that Cloud Man is high ranked and better than Shade Man. <laughs> One of those two didn't eat it, die in the last game like 12 times. Alright. <laughs> Shade Man doesn't really have a rank. He doesn't do anything. <laughs> he just kind of like runs around and sucks people's energy yeah. or whatever. Hey, you missed something. Battle Work 5's going great. We're having a great time. Yeah, we're having a lot of fun with it. We are currently uh, chasing a Navi through Squirrel Computer. Um, but we, we, we have our first uh, uh, Soul Unison, which is really cool. Um, ooh. Ooh, champion axes. Okay, hold on, we can... Yeah, I mean, the rule is you just let Dracula do what he wants. You don't, like, give him a rank or anything. He's not, like, actually in your circle. He's just, like, somebody you keep around. What? <laughs> the confusion there? <laughs> Yeah, Night Soul is pretty cool. And there's that, like... When I was talking about super armor, that's exactly the sort of thing I was talking about, was taking a hit like that. Anyway. Oh, Royal Wrecking Ball uh, has the confuse. confuse as well. Yeah. Nice. And it's the end of that area. Let's kind of go back and see if there's any goodies. Oop, time to use Shade Man. Okay, so Noise Crush Attack in all directions. Does that mean it's just gonna be a, a like right here? Okay, no, it's okay. It's the it's the same as the move he had. Got it. So what do they mean by all directions? I think it's just like that it hits uh like that that it hits. That it hits a cone. Yeah. All directions for a subset of all. <laughs> really fan of Team Proto Man Souls. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Okay. We got our fourth drill arm, which is what I was. I, I wanted to have one more of these. Yeah. Th so this is my first time playing um, either of these titles. So I'm really excited just kind of like to get to see all these different uh, squads we can have. Um. Soul. I'm just take out a normal sword for the mouth. That'll probably make its way back in, but yeah, gun to soul is something we could cut. Okay. A 
until we have more, like, support for Gun to Soul, you know? I love Cactaball. <laughs> Crunch. No! <laughs> Fine. Yeah, like, building into Quake is one thing, but, like, uh... I would also argue that Quake is just, like, a good sacrifice chip, because I feel like Quake is, like, a bit too slow for my taste. Yeah, it's gonna be good to use, like, like on those, like, cactaballs, that's gonna be great, like, because, you know, can't hit us. Or, you know, it is always stationary. But, like, missing like that, like, yeah... All right, so we got right and left again. Oh my god, it's gotta... I mean, you keep going left. That's the rule in mazes, right? That's how you don't get lost. All right, hold on. I have to do a, like, specific set of moves in order to win this fight in one action. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, you son of a bitch! Yeah, that, yep, I did it. Good job, me. So the, the idea was I wanted to get that back one to move up, but uh, it just didn't work. Because the Met was in the way. I, I forgot that the... I didn't realize that the Met would block that fully. Anyway. By the way, I do appreciate, like, how well the, uh, Liberation Mission timers are, uh... Like, um... I, I like how well, like, uh, they sync up with the way that Double Soul works. Yeah. Because it's a battle that you have to win in three turns anyway. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Garden K code. That really isn't gonna matter much because we can get Garden Star, so like that's not a huge Someone just posted an old ad for Metal Storm on Coco, so I'm just like, fuck yeah, Metal Storm for the NES. What a good video game. Oh. Look at that Met. You see that one frame Met? Love the one frame Mets. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well... You can do that, I guess. Okay, there's a goodie in the center. 200 zenny. We're gonna get 400 next? Is that like a prize we're going deeper for? I didn't hit? I, th 
I, I guess the one was returning because they bonked into each other. Hey, Cactus Ball. Alright. Squirrel Cop 6. Check for goodies. <laughs> That's the power of Quake. The squirrel cop goes deep. I need to get used to this chair again. Oh? Oh, because, like, uh, I had to, oh. uh, like, whip oh. out my, uh... Oh! Mmm! <laughs> okay, it's fucked up. It's fucked up because A is a good code, but at the same time, it's just like... They're having this run a lot of weird codes because, like, the <laughs> synergies are different here. But also, it's Gundel Soul. <laughs> the wind there. Anyway, let's get rid of the wind. Storm on an emulator. I mean, that—that's pretty much that's pretty much the dream at this point. Yeah. Okay. So we've reached comp six. Let's go back and go to comp five. See if that's just this way. Nope. No, this is comp seven. Uh oh. All right. Who built this squirrel so deep? Why is there a squirrel maze? Outside of annoying beeping. Annoying beeping zone, and... Okay. Cleanly out of it. It seems like at least we can jump back and forth, like, in and out, so that's nice. Everyone, yeah, everyone just wanted to add more things to the squirrel. Here we go. Blizzard Man! Hell yeah! Yeah, everyone in management knew about the squirrel. Yeah, well, yeah the squirrel is a symbol of uh, ACDC City. Ooh, another wind. Someday, Aider will return. <laughs> Eight man. Yeah, Mr. Amos. Oh, gutter ball. You hate to see it. <laughs> Just completely flubbed it. <laughs>
Yeah, everybody just uses the squirrel database. Squirrel's like a waffle house in a local town. Like, it's the way that people realize that the internet is back on during a hurricane or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I do like that, um, that Mr. Famous just has a ton of different navvies. Also, also, Mr. Famous knows about the net battling chakras. Remember the net battling chakras? <laughs> <laughs> I remember the net battling chakras. <laughs> Me too. I love the net battle with chakras. <laughs> that, was, that was good. That was one of the sillier ones we had. <laughs> Knocked out the net battle with chakras. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get this one. Yeah, because like in two we had Pong. In, in, in three we had Punk. Uh, in four we had um, Kendo Man, which was one of the like, you know, a design contest winner. Uh, yeah. It's, it's neat to have that character, like, oh yeah, here, I just have a bunch of different navvies, you know. Okay. So, we've gone through a bunch of squirrel comps on the left-hand side, now we have to go back and go to the right-hand side of squirrel comp. We got an HP up, that's a good thing. in this room, and we went in the right side here, so now we want to go back again and go in the right side on the next one. So right here. Okay, welcome to Squirrel Comp 5. Check all your corners. Make sure there's no mats. I learned only recently that there are still land parties out there. Just kind of for, like, the hell of it, the spectacle yeah. of the thing. Ooh. Yo! I didn't realize that fire hit was on O. Oh, nice. Guess what? Q. That's a that, that okay. that's a run. That's a straight. I'm, I'm. That is a possible program advance. Huh. Flop. You're right. It might not be one, but it is, that is a run that is possible to be one. So, we'll have to... I guess I have to go all the way back to Squirrel Comp 1?
and then take the right hand side. See what we get from that squirrel comp. Possibly. Squirrel comps. Squirrels comp. I don't know if I want to get too far into this conversation. Crushed! Not even close! <laughs> Alright, wait for it. I kind of lost track. Why are we in the squirrel maze? Uh, a weird dude with the showed up who said, and said, "Fight me." Oh, I feel like he should have just like asked us to fight him there right away. Nah, nah. We had to prove ourselves by going into the, the squirrel comp and finding him and then fighting. Understood. Yeah, roll here, so that'll heal up. We gotta fight inside the squirrel, yes. Squirrel comp nine. Now we're in Squirrel Comp 10, which has a goodie. Alright. Going into Squirrel Comp 11, which has a goodie. Now we're in Squirrel Comp 13, which has a goodie. Go back and go to the right in the different squirrel comp. He woke up one day in squirrel comp 55. Wow. <laughs> yeah, right, like. <laughs> of 100 squirrels. <laughs> ah! The World 3! The power of drill! I do like that people eventually just um, retired the use of the word of the uh, acronym WWW. It was just like, yeah, it's that. Like you type it into everything, fucking whatever. Yeah. Shut up. All 
All right, we're on scroll, scroll 12. down here. <laughs> I'm going to blow you up with this one. <laughs> the 200 damage quake. I'm going to think about WWW's three times three syllables and syllables in World Wide Web. I want. Hold on, we can we can fit this in. There we go. Cool. Wait, shit. Alright, hold on. Hold on, I'm fixing it. So are we starting with barrier is just like something to fill space or Um, I have nothing else to put on the bar right now. Okay. Sounds like, about right. Like, this isn't like this is gonna get replaced pretty quick, I feel, but right now, all we have left is like a speed plus one. Might as well. So might as well take it. I just had to do a little bit of Tetris to, you know, it's a Resident Evil inventory management. Gotcha, gotcha. Which is always fun, everyone loves. Okay, so now I want to go back. Oh, there's our barrier. code? Eh, equivalent. Can I flip the barrier 180 degrees to fit in speed one? I do not yet have, um, uh, like, spin programs. You need, like, spin blue, and that'll let you flip, uh, an item in there. Spin blue, let's spin blue, spin red, or, you know, pink, etc. You get those, like, throughout the game as, like, upgrades to your Navi cost. Good idea, though. Mm -hmm. Yes, the full, the full clear. We also will get, uh... <laughs> yeah, nobody's told Land to do it yet. You have to re-download all your programs every time the, you get a new pet, you know? PET also is kind of like the Wonder Swan. Huh? I just realized. Like flip it turn wise. I just realized that the drill hits twice. Oh, it does. That's 120. God, the Wonder Swan. You ready for side talking? Get that Nokia engage in there. The Wonder Swan was interesting because it was the guy who um, originally designed 
the Game Boy trying to chase that success again. Wonder Swan is definitely, as I've said, you know, before, very much a blind spot to me as far as just like. Same here. Like, uh, I'm sure it had a few good games here and there, but like, for the most part, I'm completely blind on uh, this library. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah! Like a regular swan, but better. Hmm, okay. Regular swans suck, though. They're <laughs> fucking awful animals. Right, that leaves a lot of room for improvement. I guess so. Night hit. That's a really cool Would you one. Would rather have in you in the backseat of the car during a long trip? A regular swan or a wonder swan? <laughs> one thousand percent wonder swan. I know it's not gonna fucking kill me. Oh shit! Hey, uh. Wait, is that dude Dave? Um. The the, the guy on the outside that came up to us. If I remember right, Shadow Man's because operator... Because Shadow Man was in, like, Battle Network 2. <laughs> or no, D okay, Dave was Quick Man. I thought it was... Who was, who was Shadow Man's then? That was, like, a mercenary in... in... I thought Shadow Man was, like, like an Ospol independent novice. Yes, yeah, Shadow Man was Ospol independent, but it was also in a network transmission as, like, a mercenary. Like, in multiple games. Oh, just Dark. I'm, I'm sad. I wanted it to be Dave, but if that's... Hello. Oh, all right. You're, you're, you're ready for that forward-facing Shadow Man portrait? <laughs> <laughs> are, are you? You took all of those left turns like a champ. Thanks. People have been telling me this a lot in this game, and I feel good about it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, my body won't fit in the wire. Yeah, that's fucking stupid. Your body won't fit in the wires. Lan, all you do is just like... Also L Land, Give Mega, Mega Man. Man the chips. Like, that's literally the only reason you're here. Yeah. No, no, it's not. Our strength is that we're, we're connected through bonds. <laughs> Look, did you hear what he said? I'm just mad. I'm just, I'm mad, all right? I'm angry. I'm mad. I'm a little mad. <laughs> and another thing. Put in the newspapers that I extremely <laughs> got mad. I'm a lone wolf assassin. Yeah. Like, again, so he, in the other games, he was a mercenary, not on any, like, uh, not with I guess an organization. killing a country qualifies as assassination. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. 
Hell yeah. D- all right. You want to tell me anything else other than if the bad man succeeds, it's bad? Is he friend? What is the thing? Anyway, rest in peace, uh, Speedy Dave. Uh, and this is not Speedy Dave. I, I just immediately thought of Dave. Uh, excuse me, it's Dave of Speed, actually. <sighs> they had to change the localization to avoid getting sued. God. Nebula, worst company. <laughs> Nebula agents. Okay, we need to we need to clean up like Oran. Like we did the same thing with um with uh, the ACDC network. I thought we already liberated Oran. We did, but like we we had to like we when we liberated ACDC, we had to do a sweep through ACDC to make sure like w- like Nebula wasn't coming back in and taking back over. Mm. We're doing the same with Oran, where we need to sweep through and like get rid of the remnants because we did we did like Oran one and Oran three, but Oran two we didn't touch. Ah, I see. Yes, the ACDC network. <sighs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that ninja was cool. We talked to you, Betty has something to say. Oh my god, look at Higsby's little mat. Oh my god, Higsby's open. Troop Trader, give me a rare chip or give me. Okay. Oh, is it finally time to start putting things in the uh, gotcha? Yeah. Oh, look! <laughs> Land feels awkward. <laughs> <laughs> and like the three space LED on oh the right. My God. <laughs> Thanks, Higsby. This is like Gunstar Heroes Big Dice. <laughs> Higsby's bargain bin. Oh my god. I'm guessing that we have to just like check back in periodically to see what random crap he has in there. Yeah, but like. Vulcan Star? That's a good deal. Also, wait a minute, am I just able to buy like. I guess this is a way to convert money into chips. Into chip trader so. chips, right? Yeah. Alright. I'll take the Vulcan stars. Uh, no. It's it's not that Lan is one of four people that have a pet. It's out of Lan's group, Lan is the only one with a pet. Um, like, Guthrie. Also, Lan and his friends club are, like, one of the, like, the best net battlers around. Yeah, so, um, male Dex and Yai don't have their pet, but everyone else does. It's, it's just those three. I like that there's a bargain bin that just has, like, kind of junk chips in star code. <laughs> Things be... Oh, look, it's the, the that, like, uh, little virus, the Emperor virus from, uh, the Undernet in 4. Hmm. Battle chip gate? Oh fuck, are we really getting wait, Aider? Wait, can we Aider? Can we Aider? New Aider just dropped? Wait, hold on. Oh, hi Nanako. Still working here. Alright, we got Yo Yo. Uh, it's Yo Yo. The battleship gate was a a, a, a a physical toy that you could put chips into. Okay. I see. I'm sorry, I see. Hold on, I see something on this. 
I love how much um, stuff they put in Battle Network that intersects with like random knickknacks that they uh, made in real life because Battle Network was such a successful uh, franchise. Look at the codes for this one. Guy. Guy. Ooh, Man. Super Vulcan. Man. Man. <sighs> Super Vulcan's probably a good pickup. Alright. Time for the important part. That's right. How many guard one A's are we putting in? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Elect real one. We have not seen it's Z. Z. Z Fucking code. Z. Damn, Z is a pretty rare to have code. It's not the rarest. That's X. Um but Ooh, another tornado. We actually have one of these. Getting more of them could mean they're actually like, you know, big, big news. Yeah, it's something. <laughs> Windstar. Ooh, another area grab. That's actually Ooh. nice. We don't, we don't have like those in Star yet, so. No, no thanks. Tornado and L. Spreader C, sure. What? The wood nose. It's the wood nose. You know. Yeah. A branch grows from from side. Alright, we're almost through our, our chips. Ah, an M. I wanted one of those that uh, that's pretty bad. Yeah. Another wind. And then the last one, because that puts us down to four of everything. Oh, triple panel crack. I don't think we... I think we have single and double right now. We don't have triple. Okay. Wood nose. This is the the number trader. Uh, I will grab the numbers for the number trader at a later time. I'm not gonna put them in right now, but uh, I'll have them grabbed for a, a, another time. Right. Ah. <laughs> no, it's fine. I would never. Okay, this is so one of the one of my biggest complaints about four, uh, from a like gameplay perspective, is that dark chips 
are like completely at odds with playing the game in any other normal way. Um, like you, uh, you, you, you can't like you can't just put them in a folder and use them. You have to have them show up based on the emotion system. But like, if this is just a thing I can put in my folder. Yeah, that's fine. But like, I can't believe it's like a fucked up evil honk. Fucked up evil honk. Also like, paralyze the enemy. But yeah, this is a, you know, right. But I, I am certain this is much like, you know, rules of dark chip this is gonna reduce our max hp by one on use but also it's here so we'll have to decide on what we want to, to do with those use dark chips too much you can't use night soul go to e for evil that's cute. Um, we have different ways of, like, gaining max HP. Um, like here. Yeah, can't double soul if you're evil, but at the same time it is just like, okay, but we can, like, plan around it. Yeah. That's, that's fine. But yeah, like, we can put in things that give H max HP. We can also patch cards that have a, a different bits to them. Um... Allowance for mom. <laughs> yeah, I just get it. Oh, that's cute. I'm gonna go through those. That's, that's, that's very silly. If we're ever in the need of some cash, we can talk to mom. Uh, sadly, we would need Cash a little bit more. E -reader. Yeah, that's e-reader. Four and five have have them. Uh, in like like in in this stuff. Um, I don't remember if six did. I didn't. Obviously, I never had an e-reader. That was that was not a piece of technology I, I owned. It. Um, but no, we would need some more cash because we spent two thousand on the dark chip. Um. That's really cool that it's, like, actually in our, our stuff now. Yeah. I, I just love that it just says, Paralyze per the Enemy, per in all caps. Paralyze the Enemy. All the kids yearn for the mines! All of them. Not having glide around doesn't bother me a bit. I say, standing in the corner of my house, looking at the window. <laughs> yeah. If only, I think like, she's upset that her friend's yes, gone. No, very, very clearly. She's, she's very clearly. She's... <laughs> All three of them are dealing with it. Not great. It's they're all having a, good, a, a time. Panic dot wave. <laughs> wow, Slaya, that's really fucked up. Okay. So we can go to all three of these places. Let's go to the all three of these places before we do. Oh, actually, hold on. Or an aisle.
dang, I was hoping I could talk to Pride to have, like, a, you know, not a, I guess a refight. Maybe that's for a later time. Or maybe that's on the internet somewhere. We did sort of have to beat up Nightman a bit. And then, like, Nightman immediately went and did a mission. Hello? Hello? No one sealed off the mines. <laughs> oh my god. Dark tornado. Do you want this rare chip? Dark Torn! <laughs> this is. F Tornado expands when hit. Well, like, we paid five dollars for, for, like, Devil Tornado. <laughs> <laughs> I, I very much appreciate the change to having these as an option that I can just choose. This game with. is set in the world they tried to warn you about in the Dare program. Scientist <laughs> 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 comes up to you. You want it? You want a hit of these dark chips? <laughs> None of y'all's motherfuckers knows how to take a beating. Get the drugs, bad. This is a real thing, scientists do. I'm glad I came back here. I don't yet know what I'm gonna do with dark chips, but I, I did want to... I do want them in my arsenal. Because, like, one of the things about them is, like, if I want a way to clear a liberation mission quick, you know? They're there for you. It's true. Yeah. As far as, like, if, if we use a dark chip and it, it, it does, like, bugs, that's something we do have, um, where is it? <laughs> you know. So if we want to, like... If we want to use uh, the bug fix, so All right. zoomed past the thing in that last outside section. No, I'm gonna have to go back through here. I'm, I'm... like, I, there, there's no fast travel for me. Good to know. There, I, I passed like three alternate paths specifically because I know that I'm getting them on the uh, on the on the run back because like I can't like you know be yeah. on. We had dark tornado. One thing that's interesting, too, about dark chips as, like, a, a thing, um, talking about the, uh, the drawback, you know how it's... So the, the, the main drawback of using a dark chip is that negative HP on your, your max HP. But in Liberation Missions, we do have a group. 
So like, we have that drawback. Have them use the dark chips. Well, I mean, like, we we're the one affected by the drawback, but only like only us. Like in the sense that like, our max HP is not Colonel's max HP, is not Nightman's max HP, right? Right. Right. So like, right. so like, yeah. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. <laughs> oh, hey, Mr. Famous. What am I, Mr. Famous, doing around here? <laughs> that, that's Mr. Famous right there. Yeah. An anti-nebula navy. Grid man. grid man. Oh, we hitting that gritty? Is this like football man? Are we hitting that gritty? No, I want football man. The gridiron man. That's right, it's Super Bowl Sunday, oh, everybody! Oh, it's football. That's right, it's time for the Super Bowl. Are you ready for some football? <laughs> Incre oh god, the blockers! Wild that he chose to spring this on us on the first Sunday of February of all times. Oh god! Got you with that confuse. I love this. It's football time, everybody. Damn it. I'm sorry. Hold on. Uh, 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 Mr. Famous, I have some questions. You said you developed this as an anti... anti-nebula navy? What? what are you talking about? It uses the power of, our, of Earth's greatest champion, Brett Favre. <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, but you're right! That's how you defeat Laser Man! Yeah, that's how you defeat Beams by Laser Beams Man. Are, yeah, right. Okay, no, I understand it. You're, you're, you're right. The, if, if we're gonna beat Laser Man, we have to use the power of beams. Thanks to Grid Man, I'll never get lost, and I'll never be a bad boy again. <laughs> Red Favre. Oh my god, no! No, 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 he's gonna. Touchdown! <laughs> it's coming down to the wire. Yeah. Alright, is this real? Program Advance! Yes, Box it is! Box one! <laughs> Look, the east is burning red! <laughs> Take this! Gridman F! For football, that's right, Super Bowl Sunday! 
The power of football is now with us! <laughs> That's... I'm so, That's so fucking good. I'm so happy. Explodes win touchdown. That's football right there. That's it. If you, if you go and watch the Super Bowl, you're going to get to see this exciting action. Explodes win touchdown. Yes. <laughs> Footman. I... We'll put football in the deck for now. I'm so happy that Mr. Famous just has new navvies all the time. <laughs> Same. Oh god, alright. 700, huh? Yeah, that was, that was what it was. Got you. Explodes when touchdown. No. Good man, we had the the field was wide open, you just had to run. Uh, yeah, go ahead and link the, uh, concept yeah. art. Oh, crap. One sec. Hold on, I gotta... I got it. No, oh, okay. I, I have to do it. I didn't realize that mods can't do it. No. It's probably in the game here. We can probably take a look at it in, 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 the, in the, like, in the bits here later, too. Sorry about that, I'm a bit busy. <laughs> yep. My bad. Oh, uh, yeah, there he is. Gridman, Gridman here. We got a different, you know. We have our different Gridman. The hero of the, uh, of the Gridiron. to figure out exactly how to use this because like it seems like you, you kind of like run down field with it and you want to you have to get to the back so we'll we'll have to mess around with that i'm glad we, i'm so glad we came over to orion island to, to find freaking <laughs> mr famous <laughs> and then this is
It's gonna be wild at the Super Bowl when they pull out Gator. Like, program advances haven't been legal for the last, like, 15 years of the NFL. So, like, it's gonna be real exciting to see them pull those out for the first time. Like, back in 2009, there was a pretty big rules change that outlawed program advances in the NFL. Yeah, they got really mad about people, like, constantly trying to TiVo the best parts of the game. Alright, uh, let's go to Scilab. <laughs> Alright, now I can take a look at the, the drawing here. Oh my god, the body is a football. Yes. <laughs> like, you can't see it on Gridman here, but under the... Like, the body is a football under the armor. That's awesome. Oh. Oh god. Mr. Coys. <coughs> I'm the famous Mr. Quiz. I'm mad about quizzes. There are like too many of them and stuff. What? Time. <laughs> Fuck off. You are in my league. All right, buddy. What is the combined attack of cannon plus mini bomb plus wide sword? Uh, 170. Uh, okay. 40 plus 50 plus 80. That's right. Not only is it Super Bowl Sunday, it's time for baseball. Dude, excuse me. Dark the what, dude? Why do you have that, Kim? I am the wicked quiz master. I will give you the power of devils if you can answer my quiz. Corner. Corner enemy, enemy by thunder. Two hundred damage. If I go by Megabyte, that auto gets me them at the bottom because they're all 99s. The power of quiz. I gotta talk to everyone now. <laughs> God damn it. Hey. Hey, kid. Cost you nothing. I don't have many of these people just like suddenly are around to sell dark chips. Well, you know, I I, I have to assume yeah, this Nebula's, is part of Nebula. Yeah, Nebula's got the market. It's true. There's only one slight oh. side effect. Don't get freaked out. It's nothing. Just a small price for more power. The Dark Sword on Z. 
<laughs> Easy money. They really don't want you doing synergy stuff too easily. Well, yeah. Well, the other thing, I guess, is like, because, like, am I going to need another chip in a fight? Because this is a life sword. This is effectively life sword. But, you know. That's... That's very cool. Fucking wild. I like this implementation a lot. Because now my pocket just has, like... Hey, you know, come on. You could, you could build your folder to have synergies, or... You could use absolute power. Your call. So, uh, hey, uh, Soul Cannon? <laughs> it's, just a, it's just one kid, you know? You just throw him in the cannon and uh, <laughs> make your problems go away. That's all it takes. Hey, kid. Dad, you need to, you need to go home. Well, I'm not sure uh, if like Soul Fusion combines with Dark Chips. We'll have to do some testing with it. It, it sounds like it's just, like, one or the other per battle. Crunched. More Quake. Yeah. Don't know, I figure... Yep. Yeah. Also, giving you them early enough that it makes the lack of synergy you have more tempting? Yeah. Like, wait a minute, I can full clear this. Crushed. But yeah, getting them this early is a, a, a good idea because it's like, hey, now you want to use, like, the cool thing. Anybody else have more dark chips in the world? Okay. Okay, so let's head to ACDC, and we, we, we want to head to Orion Online Area. That's our current goal. But we have to do it through ACDC. The power of football. The power of football is with us. Just adding in some darkness. <laughs> like, it, it's fine. We don't have to use them, but you know, if they're in our pocket and we have them when, like, things go bad, maybe. Oh, why not? <laughs> 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 have to use them in like normal fights but you know it's just what if I need them
<laughs> no more health computers. I also, I, I also love that it auto selects them. That rules. Like a, hey, are you sure? Yeah. Like, give it a try. <laughs> Buy an unlocker. So I've got one of those on me. I know it, it kind of limits how much cash I have right now, but like, there's been a lot of unlocker things we've seen in the world. So, and as I said, I'll probably do some like off-screen, just sort of like net battles to get some some chips, uh, and those will you know fix us right up. Yeah, just imagine how easy the one-turn clears are with the power of darkness. Also, I love that the dark chips are the cheapest thing in the universe. You know? <laughs> like, 500 bucks. You're, you're gonna buy them. And they're from, like, a, you know, it's like, hey, here's a, a, a net battler from, uh, from you know, a, a, a chip dealer from Netopia. Here's a kid doing quizzes. Here's some dude, you know, it's like, hey, here you go. Ooh, Bufros. We have not found a place to spend Bufros. <laughs> it's so sad that Hope died of Bufros. <laughs> Like, I had boofers for like four games and nobody's made that joke. Somebody has to have made the. the, the it's so sad that old land died of boofra. I don't think we ever, like, cashed in on it. No, I don't think we did. Hello, buddy? Yeah, because, like,. If, if if the dark chip syndicate wants people to be using the dark chips, get them out there for nothing. Like, you just want them on the streets. That's it. It also makes, like... So, one of the things that was, like, kind of, like... Again, a lot of things that didn't work in 4, but, like, Nebula as an organization, like, basically had no, um... Like... Purpose. Yeah, it, it, it was like they didn't have an agenda. Right, they didn't have anything. Right, like, it was we, just Laser Man spouting like an AI like uh, amalgamation of every like bad guy motivation on the planet. Laser Man was just doing Laser Man things. Like, yeah, we were, they were called the Dark Chip Syndicate, but like we don't see them doing anything like that. Uh, and no, it, it is a bit more you know building for them if we have like hey there are literally vendors on the street where like dark chips are a thing because in, in <laughs> i could beat these mets in one move all i would have to do um but like like the dark chips were presented as like a super rare thing that like they were trying to steal from lamb and like they it, it, it didn't really make sense what they were doing with them, but if it's like, no, we're trying to, like, get everyone to be using these because we're in control of the supply, and they also are, like, corrupting navvies to get them to join us. I will spend... <laughs> I'll never guard 1A. Use the power of devils, and all you get is guard 1A. <laughs> <laughs> The only piece missing is the dude who increase, it sells increasingly expensive patches that restore your HP. Your, yeah. Like, then Nebula has a dude who's like, all right, for 100,000 zenny, we'll give you back your max HP. Mm -hmm. You know? And, and now they've completed the, the, you know, the grift.
highest rank and it's still a guard 1A. And then, like, the problem is that Regal was just saying shit, and he was just gonna jump off the building anyway. Yeah, but it lets us build that in this now, if, if, if we want to have yeah. Regal have a consistent motivation, right? Also, I don't think that Wily's uh, motivation was Net Society is corrupt. It's, I want to blow up Net Society to prove I'm better than Dr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Regal's, like, the best read I had on Regal's was... Actually, you are the bad guys, and society is corrupt for existing. Which, like, again, I chalk up to he was saying literally anything because he was just going to jump off the thing. Right. Um, that's, that's, but it was just, like, very much like, this world is imperfect. If only I could wipe away its impurity. Is anyone, like, listening to this and make it as beautiful as me? So this gold prog would let us go for another run at Blizzard. Um, I think that's one of the things I'll do, like, next time, is try to give Blizzard a run. Wait, we've, we've got the line. Football! Football! No! Damn it! Damn it! Ah, oh, it's diagonal from the start! We'll get a hold of football, it'll be okay. <laughs> Strong open for this. Well, again, the other problem with, like, uh, 4 is that the big reveal was that uh, Regal is Dr. Wily's son, and so he's just cribbing off of his dad's motivation, which... His dad's motivation is very, very personal and not a blood feud thing. Yeah, but he's, like, again, from, from the best read I have on 4 is he sees all of society as corrupt for it. Uh -huh. Um, wait, I want to go, like, this. Nope. Well, no, this will be fine. I just go thunk, thunk. Uh, I, I say that realizing that best read of 4 is, like, again... Blazer Man is a joke for a reason. Mm -hmm. Good old Blazer Man. I was doing Beams by Flow jokes the entire time because I was trying desperately to stay awake. <laughs> you, ever, you ever see a villain motivation so stupid you just fall asleep? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> God, I, get, I could really just wipe this fight out in one... One stroke, it would be so easy. I'm, I'm so happy that I've added the dark gifts to my deck for no reason. <laughs> Come on, power of darkness is right there. Regal taking the imperfect short sighted reading of his dad's evil plan, just doing stuff for vague reasons the only prevents to understand can be a real strong villain plot. But, like, four doesn't work like that. Yeah, I get, th that's why I'm, like, one of the things I'm so excited about with what we have here is that five, we're just kind of having a, a second shot at it, where it's like, okay, just mentally treating it as though, like, four isn't, like, you know, just kind of ignore four. Um, four and, is not real. And it, it's, not real it's real in the sense that, like, we know the motivation, like, we know who Regal is, right? That, that, uh -huh. But, like, four, basically, like, we get another shot at, like, Regal as a character. What is he actually doing? You know, that sort of thing. So... 
Four happened in an abstract. Four happened in a in a, in a plot summary. You know, four happened. Four happened in a hole in the ground. Look, we already killed Shade Man. We don't need to go back to four again. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's maybe the realest bit. Oh, here's a question. Um, are the enemy navvies in this game the same uh, between versions? Is that fight always Shade Man? Uh, yes, they are. Okay. okay cool. Figured as much, but wanted to double check. Did you kill Shade Man? I mean, no, you can't. We fought him. We got to For actually real. fight him. All right. Okay, this one we have like a... We're specifically just getting rid of. Okay. Yeah. I don't like Shade. I mean, I thought Shade Man sucked. Was one of the, like it? It sucked that like in four, like the only part of the game that wasn't the end game or the tournaments was Shade Man, and Shade Man was awful. Shade Man all played into the like we make role useless by having her just fall into kidnapping plots all the time. Shade Man just it got to be invincible for no reason. Like it, it just. It just, he wasn't very good for a lot of reasons. Shade Man was an intensely draining experience that sucked the life out of the entire game and everyone who played it. Mm -hmm. And he was a vampire. <laughs> who is he? Ended one worthwhile thing being the vehicle for the crossover. Yeah, uh, like Gun to Soul was one of the fun, one of the funnest parts in in four. Like having our pile driver deck, I thought was cool. Anyway, hey bud. Were blue navy. Ah. They've got folks on the on the prowl for us. Wait a minute. <gasps> no, we went up. Damn it. I think I I think I finally see the problem with Gridman being a football player and thus not actually wanting to get into conflict with enemies and wanting to move past them. We're, we have to get a football clear. Like it's, it's it's Super Bowl Sunday. We need to get a touchdown to end this, right? The problem is is that football is like. Football doesn't actually want to be a contact sport. It wants to be a get past all the places you could make contact so you can make the touchdown. Well, let's see if we can we can do that. Let's see if we can pull off the power of football. No, I can't put a second. Oh god. Um, sub chip. Unlocker. Snake. Call snack from hole in area. Snacky. All right. 
Come on. Oh, hey, Nightman. Oh, he's just there. Crunch. Hey, Blazing Blood. Yeah, just hanging out. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that's maybe we actually have to go talk to Nightman for the refight. Damn it, no football. That was the wrong order. It's fine. Let's head back. Let's head actually through Oran 2 here first. Quite a powerful chip. Yeah, if you can aim it properly. No. Nope. It's uh, doing really good work. I didn't move down quick enough. We have not done, had a. a, a Navi refight on like Blizzard Man or, or Shade Man in the world. I'm looking around. They must be around. I just don't know where. You know? Mm -hmm. Double delete. We'll find them. We just, you know. I haven't been actively searching. I've just been going through areas, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, in, in every other game, it's like, yeah, they're in, like, the back corners where, like, you're just sort of making, you know, checking, like, you know, bits like that where it's like, you know, are they... Yeah, when we got, like, Spark Man or Guts Man, like, SP or Omega hanging around in areas, it was just like, ah, we see this fight and we're fucked. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
cannon sweep. And the lock act balls. Oop. Uh, I turned off my regular chip for a moment because I, I want if, if I, my regular chip is off, I have a higher football chance. Get ready for big snowball. Ooh, another cactus ball eye. Good. I want more cactus ball eyes. Hello? What? Hello? The fuck are you? That's the power of the sun, I think. I guess. Let's go. Let's go say hi. Oh shit. Okay. All right. Football. Touchdown! <laughs> <laughs> That's right! Touchdown! <laughs> I can't believe I blew up the, <laughs> the green data because I wanted football. <laughs> Crossover points! Hi, oh, Tenko. shit. Hi, Tenko. <laughs> We met Otenko. <laughs> it's literally crossover points. Yeah, and it's also Otenko's sitting on, I think, half of the pile driver. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. How might one... Well, no, we'll find out. I'm, I'm sure we'll okay. run into crossovers where we'll, we get points. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out. We'll find out. But now we know. We can get crossover points by doing... things. <laughs> for Tuck, for thanks for the crossover points. What's up? You got crossover points by doing link cable stuff with Boktai too. Boy, they really were all in on the Boktai crossover things. Yeah, they must have... Like, the contract must have been for several games. Because six... Like, four, five, and six all have it, so it's like... End area.
Welcome to Crane Computer. Thousand bucks. Oh no. Mr. Frog there has much more value than just the, the, the their their job, you know? Everybody loves Mr. Frog. Alright. I think we should probably come to a stop here and we'll do Orient Area 3 yeah. and the rest of this. Uh, starting next time, maybe do some... Uh, uh, other bits. Maybe we'll redo that first liberation mission. Try to get a uh, uh, Blizzard SP. Also, you know, just just sort of. I'll, like I said, I'll, I'm probably gonna do some just off, you know, offside uh, virus busting. I play any of the stuff I do like that is gonna be absolutely nothing plot wise. It's like just sort of like beat up some Mets, get some some guard 1As or whatever and maybe some chips that would be neat to have so mm -hmm. but yeah anyway that's gonna be it we, we got the power of football on our side today you know for uh, for for Super Bowl Sunday so everybody you know watch out if you watch the game we'll keep an eye out for the explosion when the touchdown happens as we all know how football works uh, so yeah, thank y'all for joining. If you want to get more, follow, subscribe. Thank you, V Prince, for being here. Yeah, no problem. So, so yeah. Uh, thank y'all for joining. Have a good night, everybody. Football.